Welcome to the assembly video for your Broil King keg. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. You will need the following tools to assemble your Broil King keg. A Phillips screwdriver and a half inch wrench. Step one. Before you begin, please make sure you open the top of the box and remove both the multi-tool and your manual. Then, remove the outer carton from the keg. Now remove the stand from the lid of the keg. Step 2. Unlock the clasp and open the keg's lid. Remove and unpack the contents on the top of the cast iron grate. Step 3. Rotate the cast iron grate out of the locked position, then remove it and set it aside. Then unpack all remaining components and check it against the inventory list in your manual. Step 4. Attach the front handle with your Phillips screwdriver. Use two M5 by 55 screws to go into the bottom holes where the bottle opener tabs are located. Use two M5 by 38 screws for the top holes. Install a silicone gasket behind each end of the handle. Step 5. Attach both side handles using four M5 by 55 screws. Step 6. Attach both wheels to the axle posts on the stand in the following order. Begin by putting on the wheel first, then the axle washer, followed by the axle lock nut using your half inch wrench. Then complete the assembly by snapping on the hub cap. Then install the leveling feet into the stand. Step seven. With everything out of the grill, relock the clasp on the keg's lid. Step eight. With the help of a friend, grip the side and back handles only. Then lift the keg out of the box. Please do not lift using the front handle. Step nine. With the keg upright, insert the hitch post onto the stand and into the square slot. Slide it forward until the hitch pin holes are aligned. Step 10. It is important to install the threaded hitch pin securely between the stand and the grill. Turn it clockwise to tighten and always remember to use the safety clip. Please note, if your hitch pin does not fully tighten, install the pin from the opposite side. Step 11. Open the lid and put the following parts in place, starting at the bottom. First, align the notches in the fire bowl with the fire bowl supports inside the keg. Then place in the charcoal grate. Use the multi-tool to lift and install the cast iron cooking grate. The cast iron cooking grate can be used in either the upper or the lower position. Now install the top chrome cooking grate. Step 12. Install the tool holders. Using four M5 by 20 screws, install the tool holders on both side trays. To install the side shelves, simply line up the side shelf pins with the side handles, then press and release. They should click when locked into position. Step 13. Insert each grill wedge between the keg body and the keg stand corners. Firmly push forward until they snap into place. Please note, it may be necessary to loosen the hitch pin in order to fit the wedges. Please remember to tighten after the wedges are in place. Now is a good time to look over your keg, ensuring that everything is secure and in place. Before you begin grilling, you should light your keg and leave it on medium-high for at least 20 minutes to burn off any residue from the manufacturing process. Then, open the lid and wait a few minutes to let your cast iron grids cool down. Now begin to season your cast iron cooking grate and top damper with cooking oil. Coat them completely using a basting brush or an oil mister. Then, you're ready to grill. Now is a great time to register your keg please visit omcbbq.com and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support 
recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more.